So when is it safe to swim after adding pool chemicals? Your levels, like pH and chlorine, should all be in range before anyone gets in the water. But how long does that usually take? Well, for most chemicals, you only need to wait 20 to 30 minutes before swimming again. But there are some exceptions, like chlorine shock and calcium harness increaser. So here's a quick walkthrough on when it's safe to swim after adding certain chemicals. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University, and before we get into this video, if you are new to taking care of a pool and you want more help, check out our Pool Care Handbook. It's an easy to follow manual made specifically for new pool owners. And you can grab a copy at swimu.com book. First, here are some chemicals that don't require an extra long wait. For these common chemicals, you only need to wait 20 to 30 minutes to swim after adding them to the water. That's alkalinity increaser, pH increaser, pH decreaser, chlorine stabilizer or CYA, clarifier, and algicide. Be sure to add your chemicals with the pump and filter running so they can circulate and retest your water between dosing. Now remember, your water chemistry needs to be balanced before swimming. If your pH or your chlorine is off, you're at risk of skin or eye irritation, so make sure that your chemistry is balanced before diving in. Finally, when in doubt, always follow the instructions and any recommended wait times on the chemical label. Okay, so here are a few exceptions to the 20 to 30 minute rule. And here are the chemicals that require a longer wait time before jumping back in the water. Again, be sure to add chemicals with the pump and filter running. Number one is chlorine shock. If you're shocking your pool with chlorine, you'll need to wait at least eight hours up to 24 hours before swimming again. Chlorine shock is a highly concentrated dose of chlorine that can raise your chlorine up to 10 times the normal levels. So you'll wanna test your water after shocking and wait until your free chlorine drops back into range before using the pool again. And if you need help with shocking your pool, be sure to check out our other video. Number two, muriatic acid. Muriatic acid lowers your pH and alkalinity. Unfortunately, as an acid, it's one of the most hazardous chemicals to handle, and it can create hot spots in the water that can burn and irritate swimmer's skin. So if you've just added it to your pool, wait at least 30 minutes to an hour before swimming again. If you want more help safely adding muriatic acid to the water, be sure to check out our other video. Number three is chlorine tablets, granules, and liquid. So depending on the size of your pool and how much chlorine you're adding, you'll wanna wait two to four hours or until your chlorine levels come into range before swimming again. You'll also want your chlorine to properly circulate and disperse, especially if you're using liquid chlorine or granules. You don't want any concentrated areas of chlorine in your water when you jump in. Chlorine tablets, on the other hand, may take a little bit of time to dissolve depending on your water flow and temperature. But whatever type of chlorine you add, you wanna run your pump and filter, test your water after a few hours, and wait until your chlorine levels are in range before you swim. Number four is calcium hardness increaser. You wanna wait at least several hours or overnight after adding calcium to the water. All of your water should circulate through your filtration system at least once after adding calcium harness increaser. This helps to get it through all of the plumbing and disperse evenly. So the wait time is less about swimmer safety and more about letting the calcium circulate properly. And as it mixes in, you don't want to affect it with fluctuations in pH caused by swimmers. Number five is flocculant. You don't swim with flocculant in the pool, period. Flocculant works best in completely still water, allowing contaminants to clump together and sink to the bottom of your pool. So you wanna wait until the flock has finished working and then you vacuum it all out before swimming again. Finally, if you need more help, check out the pool care handbook at swimu.com book. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it, thanks again and happy swimming.